Hello, welcome back. Today we have a viewer query as displayed on the screen. A user commented on our previous video where we demonstrated creating multiple checkboxes with just one click. By clicking on this button, you can select a range and it will automatically add checkboxes and a result section. As per comment viewer wants the checkboxes and the result to not be in the same cell but in separate ones. Let's see how we achieved this. We have our button here. Clicking on it brings up an input box to select the range. Let's select the desired range and click the button to create checkboxes. Now, you can see the checkboxes have been added into the odd columns and the results are displayed under the even columns. Now let's examine the code. Here's the code added to the module. First, we assign variables. Then we added an error code. So that clicking on the cancel button ends the subroutine without executing any further code. For the range, we use an input box similar to what we demonstrated in our previous video. We've made a minor change so that all checkboxes fall under odd columns and the results under even columns. We've also added a line specifying that captions should be empty. This means, if there's any text in the cells, while running the code will delete it and override the result as an unchecked checkbox. Let's clear everything and then we'll write the code. So that we can start from the beginning. Click on the developer button, then Visual Basic. Activate the Project Explorer from View button. Then insert a module by clicking on Insert button. Now clear the text and copy the code from our blog, link in the video description, and paste under Module. Once you're done with the code, go back to Excel and create a button to run it. To create button, go to the Developer tab, click Insert, select the button, then click and drag to create it. Assign the macro to the button. You can customize the button text as per your choice. Now, when you click the button, it will prompt you to select a range. After selecting, click OK. Let's see if it works. Perfect! The checkboxes are in one cell and the results are in another. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you like it then do subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or specific Excel topics you want to learn then, leave a comment and we'll provide solutions. Till then keep watching Excel Mind.